All right, hello, my name is Silver Kyle, and today I'm going to be going over 15 new Marvel Omnibus that are coming out this year in 2020, according to Omar from Near Mint Condition. He's the one with the contact of Peter Gabriel, and he's allowed to basically make these announcements, and this, this is where we now get our news. I love that we're getting news from a YouTuber who is clearly a fan of the content, because you can feel it through his excitement, and it's very contagious. I just love uh, that we get it from him. Instead of it would be through the grapevine I'd hear it on a forum or like on a pre-order like I'd be searching through on Amazon it's just we get it from him directly I love it anyway 15 omnibus here some of the stuff here I'm very excited for some of it's kind of surprising um like we're getting a volume two here that I had no idea that we're gonna get it so soon uh in 2000 it, yeah we'll get to it when we get to it uh but what I did is I, I listed it um from what I'm le least excited to to the what the stuff that I'm, I just cannot wait for so that's the way that I went with this uh, list. So uh, the first stuff here is a lot of Conan the Barbarian stuff. I I wish I was a Conan the Barbarian fan. I know I've never really read any of the material at all. So I could eventually become a fan. Uh, but they're just getting so much content. It's crazy. So one of the Omnis that we're getting is uh, Call the Destroyer, I believe. Um, no idea who that is. Uh, we're also getting uh, Savage Sword of Conan Volume 4. So this is more the more... Um, I guess more mature stuff. I think Omar had said that it was black and white. Um, so they're getting volume four of that. Conan the Barbarian volume five uh, is also coming out. So this is all the original Marvel year stuff. It's just, they've gone through so much uh, savage sort of Conan and Conan the Barbarian. It's, it's just crazy. I, I I really wish, and maybe I should get into uh, uh, the these books because I feel that I'd be getting so much content. And what I like about it is that it's all in chronological order. You're getting, you know, we're not, they're not jumping around. They're not saying, okay, you're, we're going to give you volume one and then we're going to give you something that would be volume 17 or something like that. I don't think, I don't necessarily know if they have enough content to make it to volume 17, but you know what I, I mean? Like we, we get that with so many other of the books. I like to read things in chronological order. I don't necessarily like jump, like jumping on points throughout. Anyway, there you go. A bunch of new Conan stuff. Um, the next one is Marvel Horror Lives Again. Um, basically just, uh, that's, that's, that's another line that I could see myself eventually liking. Uh, but it's just not a priority for me right now. I, I got into, uh, collecting Omnis late in the game, basically at the end of 2018. So I'm so far behind. I have to pick and choose really what I want. Also because I have other hobbies that take some of my money as well. So <sighs> the joys of having so many hobbies and only so much money and only so much time as well. Next up is a, a omnibus for New Mutants. I don't really know any of them that well. Like I've seen them here and there throughout sprinklings of other stories that they might have shown up in, but I really don't know much about them. Same thing with Thunderbolts. That's getting an omnibus on its own. I know people are probably very excited for New Mutants and, and, and uh, Thunderbolts. And Excalibur is also getting... Excalibur I could see myself eventually getting down the line, um, but... Not yet, uh, but I know that that's something that I think a lot of fans, uh, like hardcore fans and fans that know, know the con this kind of content, have been looking for uh, forward to for a very long time. Uh, next up is something that I am actually very excited for, or or looking forward to, and that is the Marvel Cosmic Universe by Donny Cates Volume One. So that is something that I am interested in uh, to see what's going to be included in here, and I think I might actually get this. So I think pretty much from here on out, I think I'm going to be getting it day one. Um, although I need to see the next one here, uh, which is Thanos, the infinity saga omnibus. <sighs> it depends on what's included here because I mean, I'm going to have most of it already in omnibus format, I guess. Uh, but I guess it's all, it, it, it's, it's for those that don't want to go in, dip into the single stuff, uh, and just kind of get it all like, and get all the tie-ins and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to just the straight up stories, I guess this is what it's going to be up. But we, we honestly don't know what's really going to be included in here. Next up is Moon Knight. Moon Knight is getting his first omnibus. And this is a title that I feel like once that goes out of print, it's going to be one of those books that sh sh shoots sky high. And because I also don't think that they would necessarily do... Now, I could be wrong, but I don't think that this is one of the titles that they would be doing a reprint that fast. Unless it just sells like mad right away. Then maybe they will, but... I feel like this is one, going to be one of those that once it goes out of, out of print, it's going to just shoot up in price. 
because we won't know when the next uh, reprint would be for it. Whereas you have other uh, books that are very popular um, with much more popular characters that we keep getting reprints of or, or that we feel a little bit more confident that they will get reprints of. Although there's still a lot of really popular comics that um, comic book heroes that we have out of print books and they still haven't gotten a reprint. So it, it's, it's, it's hard to tell sometimes. Next up is Venomnibus Volume 3. I'm, I'm liking that they're still continuing with this name. I don't really know what uh, is going to be included here. Uh, Omar had said they were pretty much done with the 90s stuff, so we're going to go into more of the closer to the modern stuff. Uh, I think Daniel Way is what he was, he was thinking we might be getting. Uh, next up is War of the Realms. Uh, I mean, that just finished up like a few months ago, I guess, or it's been, it's been a little bit longer than that. Um, but... Um, Already we're getting, you know, we're, we're getting the absolute carnage omnibus already. Um, and now we're getting War of the Realms. Where is, and I guess we got an oversized hardcover of um, uh, Dawn of X uh, with uh, Pox and Hawks, uh, House of X and Powers of Ten. So I guess we're covered in that regard. Uh, but I'm, I'm surprised that we're already getting this. I was going to actually start because I wanted to kind of catch up with uh, War of the Realms. I was going to get the, the trade paperbacks. But now this is announced and apparently... They have said that this is going to include everything that could be considered part of War of the Realms. We don't have a listing, but they said everything is going to be there. So uh, I'm definitely going to pick this up instead of getting the trades. Next up is the Infinity Crusade. So Gauntlet, Infinity War, and Crusade are all going to be in omnibus format. I wish that they would make uh, Gauntlet available again uh, and do a reprint of that. Uh, and apparently I think Sunday night is when Omar is going to be revealing what uh, the Q4 uh, reprints are going to be. So I'm really hoping that that is one of them because that would just be so perfect because then I would have all three and that would just look fantastic on the shelf. And just to be able to go from one to the other is amazing. Um, next up, and this, okay, the top two here, the last two, I don't know which one is really number one. I, I kind of went with, honestly, just because of the picture that Omar showed um, because that's really the kind of, Anyway, I'll, I'll get into what they are. Uh, Uncanny X-Men Volume 4 is coming. Hopefully this means that we'll get reprints of Volume 2 and 3 because they have they recently, or not long ago, they had already done a reprint of Volume 1. And then again this year, I think we're getting another reprint of Volume 1. So they're just kind of keeping that going and, and not letting it go out of print, which is awesome, but I want volume two and three so that I can get to volume four. There's a lot of stuff that I, I, I think we need a lot of twos and threes now. And um, awesome that we're getting volume four. And this could, like that could have been my number one, but then when I saw that we're getting another Incredible Hulk by Peter David volume two, volume one is, is in, for me in Canada, like a few days away from being released still. We haven't even gotten volume one in 2020 and we're already going to be getting a volume two in 2020. That is odd. I so did not expect that at all. I love that that's happening. Hulk is one of my absolute favorite heroes of all time. Marvel, DC, everything. I, I, I And that's the image that Omar showed. He's like, this. I don't have any of the pictures or anything like that, but one of the issues that he showed that could be contained in volume two is the Hulk that I knew uh, when I was growing up and reading comics and getting like a few comics here and there of Hulk. That's my style of Hulk. And that's what made me just so much more excited because, ugh, all volume two. I, volume one isn't even out yet for Canada anyway, or at least not uh, from Amazon. It might be at comic book retailers specifically that you could already pick it up, but uh, that I'm not sure of. So there you have it, 15 new omnibus um, and at least the majority a half of them I am probably going to be getting day one. And then there's another few that down the line I could eventually get. Um, so let me know in the comments below what you are most excited for in this list. And uh, yeah, you have been bearded in. Thank you for watching. Beardage.